What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, I think it's about time I made good on the GTO spoiler. So those of you who watched the unboxing on the combat wing, top right hand corner now, you'll remember that I said the fitment to the wing was poor and I wasn't lying. It doesn't fit, the panel gaps are too big, blah, 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 and all that. Fiberglass, it's to be expected. So today we're gonna actually take the wing off the car again, bolt it properly to the car, but we're gonna fix it first so then when it goes on the car, I can leave it there until it gets wrapped. And we're also going to spray it, so you'll see what I decided to spray it with and what colours. Because again, in that video, top right hand corner again, I was talking to you about colour options because I didn't know what to go with, but I think I made the decision. So we'll get straight into taking the only two bolts that are holding that wing together, and we will get started. So if you watched the video where I first fitted the wing, you'll remember that I could only get one bolt in the blade and one bolt in each side when they're supposed to be four. So that's how poor the fitment was, but today we're gonna fix that. So now we've got the combat wing off, and the GTO looks a bit bare, but let me know in the comments if you actually like it this way, because I know some people have that as a preference. I personally prefer the wing, but that's me. So there it is on the bench. The blade's just down the side, because it doesn't fit on the bench, because I've got loads of other engine stuff on it. But I, what I did was, before taking the wing off, I marked the wing to show you how far off the bolt hole was, so that little sharpie point there. That was where I was supposed to get the bolt in to bolt that up, and as you can tell, absolutely no chance. That's just on one side. And the other side was exactly the same. I had no chance of bolting the wing back up properly unless I took it off and did what we're doing today. We also have these fiberglass end caps that are supposed to go in there, but for example, A. Not a chance, not a snowball's chance in hell they're going in. Just don't fit at all, they're too big. So I'm thinking of flattening these out as best I can, making them fit in the gap, and we can stick them in with some strong, very strong Velcro. Or I might even just tie the seal them once it's on the car, because chances are I'm not going to take it back off, but yeah, it's a bit crap. So I'll get you up on the stand and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to fix that problem. So the blade on the wing has these threaded inserts, there and there so in terms of modifying the hole to get the bolts in i need to do it on the support and arm side of the wing but what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some masking tape on those two holes i'm going to mark them up and then i'll stick the tape on the wing side so i know where i need to drill for this to line up with that perfectly so i don't have to keep doing a load of trial and error so i'm going to lay the tape down sticky side up so when i transfer it to this it's actually the right way around because if i've done it sticky side down then stuck it on this, those holes will actually be in the wrong place. I'll only be a few millimetres off, but even still it makes a big difference. So let's get the tape down like so. Hold it in, make sure it's nice and flat. And then grab my Sharpie. And literally just a hole on one and a hole on the other. And the good thing is, the one at the back, I know, lines up with the arm, so I can use that as a reference hole to then line that one up. The only thing I need to make sure to do is keep them straight. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, while it's like this, I'm going to do the curve on the start, and then the angle going down on the back, and then the curve on the back, so give me a good reference when I stick it on that, I know where it's going to line up on the indentation on the actual arm. That's where I need to drill my hole, or I can set that open to there. So the bolts for this are M6, and because they're M6, that means there's a 6mm uh, thread on these, so I'm going to use a 6.5mm drill bit, just to give me the little bit either side so the bolt isn't too tight going in. It'll go into the hole and I can feel it bolting into the wing, instead of it threading itself into the fiberglass, because that won't be that good for the fiberglass. So I can use this drill bit, drill that out, and then we can test fit this to the blade, and if it fits, job's a good one. I've got to be careful when I'm drilling this out and make sure it's right because I don't want to have to fix that as well as everything else. So now I've drilled the hole, which is the point of no return, so I really hope it's right. So we'll test fit the wing arm to the blade, and if it fits, we're all good. So I think you can see it on the camera, but the bolt hole lines up with that perfectly. The 
tape trick worked a dream. So the hole lines up perfectly, I get the other side done, and then we'll bolt the wing together, and I'll show you what the fitment's actually like when both bolts are in. So the wing's bolted up, it actually doesn't look that bad with the two bolts, and now we can just get straight into the sanding. So like I did with the mirrors in my last video, if you haven't seen that, it's in the top right hand corner now. I'm just going to sand the wing down with a 320 grit to give it a good key, so when it comes to priming the wing, it'll all stick properly and the filler primer can give it a nice smooth base for me to spray the grey primer onto and then the colour. Now I'm going to go over the wing by hand with some more 320 grit sandpaper, just to get into all the curves and all the gaps in the wing to make sure everything is sanded back completely and all the shine is gone. Now for the fun bit, two coats of filler primer to fill all the gaps, all the cracks, all the little tiny imperfections and then two coats of the grey to give the colour coat a nice base to stick to, but me being an idiot, I ran out of grey. So we'll hop in the car, we'll take a quick trip to Halfords, we'll get another can of filler primer, another can of grey primer everything we need to finish this wing off. So we're back from our little Halfords trip because I didn't buy enough paint. But everything's hanging up, primed, it's just drying. And when that's all dry, we can get the colour down. So now I've painted and hanging up. I did mess up a little bit on the sides. I'll show you that now. So when I started painting it, it started raining outside and I got a bit carried away trying to rush it. Never rush a job. But yeah, so there's a few little bits where there's runs, but I can sand them out and fix all that first because they haven't been clear coated yet for that reason. Same one, this one down here. Again, they're not that bad, but they are. So I'll have to sand them back, give it another coat, and then I can clear coat that on top. The blade is up there drying. That actually went quite okay. But as you can see, the, uh, the color is black for the blade, body color for the sides. They are getting wrapped, but I thought if I do them as close to what they will be when they get wrapped that way, if anything comes through in terms of like gaps in the wrap or whatever, you won't really see it that much because the colour is the same as the wrap. So now I need to use the sides to mark out the holes on the boot to drill them out so I can actually bolt the sides to the boot and I'll show you how I'm going to do that now. So to mount the combat wing, I've got to transfer those holes onto the boot. Fix is gonna be quite difficult, but to do that, what I'm gonna do is with my masking tape and my sharpie, I'm gonna tape between the holes, but overlap the tape so it hangs outside the wing. And then when I put that on the car with the one bolt I've got, I can straighten it out. When I've straightened it out, because I've got an overlay the tape on the side, I can tape them down around the wing. And then when I peel this off, it'll leave me with the markings for the hole. But I'm gonna tape it on this side upside down so the sticky is on the car. So then that way when I pull the wing away or the blade, the, this, it doesn't take the tape with it. And then I can use them to drill the holes and I can mount this to the car properly. So now you can see I'm using the one bolt hole that actually lines up with the car to bolt the wing support and arm to the car. And then I can tape down the tape, mark out the holes for the other three bolts and get that bolted on. Now I'm using a tape measure to mark out 52 inches from the top corner of the boot to line the wing up properly because I'm pretty certain the stock wing is 52 inches away from the top corners of the boot. Then I'll get it straight and I can tape it down. So if this works how I hope it does, I should be able to just peel this off. And the whole stay on the car. So there you can see the markings that I need to drill for the new wing and then I'll do the exact same on the opposite side. We'll get them drilled, I'll open the holes up on the inside to get the bolts through and we can get the wing on. So both sides are taped up like so and I've gone round again with the sharpie and just marked little black dots on the holes I need to centre punch and then drill. So I'm centre punching all the black sharpie marks to make a little dent in the metal underneath so when I come to drill them the drill bit has something to drill into and doesn't walk around the panel when I try and get the hole done. Now I'm going to drill the holes out to 8mm to give me some room to play with in case my markings were slightly off. So now the holes are being drilled on both sides 
and I've drilled out the access holes underneath the boot for the bolts to go through, we can finally bolt the wing up. If you're liking the content so far and you're not a subscriber, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notifications bell so you get an update when I post because it really helps the channel and we're not just stopping at the GTO. So that's one side on and it's not going anywhere. Now you just got to do the other side. So now the two sides are bolted on, as you can see behind me, there and there. So we'll get the blade, we'll get that on, and then that should be the wing finished. Other than the end caps, I only just realised I didn't do the end caps. So I'll do them at a later date, but they will get done. So everything was going well, and as you can hear now, I've just dropped the bolt into the wing support and arm, so now I'm going to have to take that off to get the bolt out to bolt the blade to it. And you can see the disappointment on my face. So now we're back for round two and hopefully this time I don't drop any of the bolts into the wing. What an idiot. And that is the combat wing fully bolted up. Well guys, there it is. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm absolutely made up with that. I think that just looks spot on. Well, it's took me a whole day, but the combat wing is finally fitted back to the car. Yes, there's a few little imperfections here and there, but honestly, I'm not that bothered. It's a project car, it's a DIY car, I'm no professional. I definitely don't have the skill set or the tools to make a professional job of it, but it gives a character and I did it, so I'm proud. But I'm honestly over the moon with that. I think that looks fantastic. And again, like it did anyway, it just suits the car so well. When we do wrap the car, the red will be the same as the body and the black will be carbon. So it gives it that little bit more of a character to it. And I think it'll look just as nice as it does now with the gloss black. So that is everything I can do so far. It's late at night, I've been here all day and I've got to go home. So. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get updates when I post and I'll see you in the next one.